Today, I'm going to review the Microsoft Copilot mobile application. It's incredibly handy to have a live web-based generative AI tool right in your pocket at any time. Hey y'all, I'm Dave. My videos on Copilot have been watched more than 100,000 times and I've taught Excel and Copilot to more than 6,000 students. And without further ado, let's dive deep into it. Okay, so first we are going to go in the App Store. So I have an iPhone right now, but the app is also available on Android. So we're going to type Microsoft Copilot. And here we go. And then the first one that is popping is chat on, which is a which is a copycat of chat GPT. And then we have the Bing chat, which is the old name of Microsoft Copilot. So we really have to take this one with the symbol as multiple color, pink, green, and everything. We're going to download it. Once it is downloaded, you're going to open it. And here we go. We have the symbol. And then it, uh, it asked me to track some items. I will tell him while using the app or ask not to track. Here we go. And then I have my two emails. The first one is my personal email and my second one is my job email, which will be two different items. So you can click here on your case, sign in with another account and you will just sign in with your Microsoft account. I'll keep going with my account and hit continue. And here we go, Copilot is loading. So we have the interface here. We have some images, which are just ideas that are popping in the middle. We don't really need that. But what's important is that we are right here on our AI chatbot. So Microsoft Copilot, your everyday AI companion. And then we have three types of conversation. The first one is the purple and is the creative one. It gives Copilot more imagination. So when you have temperature on AI, it means the temperature is actually lower. So you give more flexibility to the AI to think. Then we have the balance and you see everything becomes blue when we click on this one. It is for everyday informed chat. So it is an in-between between the creative one and the precise one. Then we have the precise mode, which is actually the one that you will want to use when you're actually fact finding. So let's use this precise one and prompt Copilot and ask it, could you please like this video so it spreads to more people? <laughs> anyway, you see what I did there? Just kidding. We're going to click and here we go. Copilot says, as an AI, I don't have the ability to interact with online such as content videos. Of course, this joke was for you. Please boop the like button. When we want to go back to the main page, we just click at the top here on the three little lines and then you click again on the Copilot symbol. It will bring you back to where you were and then you can select your conversation mode and prompt again. When you click on those three lines at the top, you have your recent chat history down here, as you can see. We can see that I prompted create a marketing plan multiple times. And you also have multiple items here at the top, which are the GPTs, generative pre-trained transformer. To be honest with you, I don't use these at the top very much, but I use them at the bottom very often. If you click on C chat history, you can go down to your prompt history for a few months, which is pretty handy when you need to reuse a prompt you used. At the bottom here, you have multiple options. You have an option to take a photo. So if I take a photo here, it will allow access camera to Copilot. I click allow and then it's going to ask access to the microphone. Allow. Here we go. And then I'll take a picture of my script, which is the script for this video. I took a picture. Here we go. Back at it. Boom. And I'll ask Copilot, can you translate this to English? Here we go. And you'll see if Copilot can read this image. So just a feature that you can use with Copilot. Another feature that is really cool is the voice memo. I actually use this all the time. When I hang up a call, I just use Copilot now to take notes. And here we go. I click on the microphone here. Hey, Copilot, I just hang up on a call with my boss. He wants me to do a budget. 
Could you please remind me this, that a budget needs all the cost, all the hiring staff, and to send the budget to the marketing and VP team, please make sure you put in there what are the best practices for a budget. Certainly. Creating a budget is a critical task for managing finances effectively. Here's a reminder of what to include in your budget and some best practices. What to include in your budget. All costs. All right, so now I have all of this. And when I go back to my computer, if I click on these three lines once again, here we go. The untitled chat that is here is my actual uh, prompt that I just asked with the voice memo. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'll go back to my computer and I'll be able to keep going from there, which is nice. If I ever want to prompt once again, I just go down here and click on the keyboard. Or if I want to keep, keep talking, I just click on the microphone once again. If I want to start a new topic, I can either go click on these three lines once again and click back on this symbol, Copilot symbol, or I can click here on new topic and it's going to start a new conversation once again. If you click on the three dots at the top here, you have the notebook feature that is built in now on the application. It wasn't before, it is new. And this allows you to prompt actually longer. So you can actually give more details to Copilot. And as you can see, you have a way clearer view. So you can actually prompt at the top here and your response will go at the bottom here. Copilot will probably understand nothing of what I just said. It seems like you are in a good mood. Oh yeah, here we go. So that is actually the notebook feature. So it is actually the same thing as normal prompt, but you can just put more text. If we go back to our three dots here, we actually have the plugins. So we have a multiple plugins that you can use with Copilot, just like on the computer version of this. Another thing I want to highlight is actually, if you go back to the three lines here, if you go to your work account, sign in, here we go. I want to highlight actually one difference. It's because that's because of the Copilot for Business license. At the top here, you can actually see that my commercial data protection is in use, which means it's more secure. Of course, I won't go through all the details. And one thing I want to highlight as a difference is when I click on the three lines here, I don't have the recent chat history. So it changed the app completely because Copilot has no eye on access on my chat history and has no access to the web. Just a side note as well, if you bought Copilot Pro, which means the integration of the Copilot app in the 365 apps such as Excel, PowerPoint, or OneNote, uh, you can't have access on it on mobile. As you can see here, I actually opened Excel and this is with my account that I have Copilot Pro. And when I do whatever, let's say I click on the blank workbook, I don't have any Copilot option anywhere. I go to more option and nothing is there actually. And when I click, I don't have any Copilot button here in the ribbon or anything. Anyways, who will use Excel on mobile, right? <laughs> just kidding, but just to let you know that the Copilot Pro version is only for the computer. If you want to learn more about Copilot, download this free cheat sheet that covers the essentials. The link is in the description and the comments below. Catch you soon.